mga hindi po nakakakilala sa akin, ako nga po pala si Nitro. At welcome sa aming video. And for today's video, actually, continuation po to ng una naming dalawang video which is the black and white studio. At kung syempre bago ka lang at na you just happen to see and click this video and you are wondering kung ano na yung mga nauna naming binuksan na studio, Please go ahead and watch those two previous videos and the other videos we do have. Without further ado guys, umpisa na natin mag-unbox ng dalawa ulit na black and white statue na Batman. So, I have with me here these two lovely statues. This one and this one. Both of these statues are sculpted by Jonathan Matthews. So, so, pinilo ko to guys na dalawa kasi pareho si Jonathan Matthews ang nag-sculpt ng dalawang um, statue na to. So, ayan. Um, let's go ahead and open one. So, we will first start on this box na kay Mike Mignola. This, actually these two are um, second editions. This one, the first edition of this one, I really haven't seen one of the first edition. Kasi, ang balita ko, nung na-release ang first edition nito, in just a matter of hours, sold out na siya. So, yung first edition nito, uh, mostly it's a numbered statue. Of course, yung mga first edition natin na una natin binuksan, it's all numbered. Giving that uh, sense of limited edition vibe. And, but this one, second edition, or a variant or a copy of the first edition. So, nag issue lang sila, guys. And, um, here it goes. Yung, um, second edition nga. And who is Mike Mignola? Mike Mignola, guys, is, um, American artist. And, uh, mas famous actually siya sa uh, gawa niya na si Hellboy. And um, if you will search sa mga gawa niya, most of na mga drawings na gawa niya, makikita mo na drop talaga yung shoulder nila. Yung parang pa ganun talaga sila. Pa triangle ba? And uh, it is well depicted on this statue. So, tara, let's open it. But before we do that, as always, we do this. We have uh, a look sa lahat ng side ng box. There you go. So, this statue approximately measures 7.5 inches high. So, yan. Tara, buksan natin. still come with a foam and I really love it that they're doing that dahil, dahil nga fragile to hindi to yung um, stitcho na gawa ng vinyl ganun so dapat lang nailagay nila sa foam so yan so here it is I'll just open it up Which is weird. <laughs> this is second edition. As I've mentioned a while back, akala ko hindi na siya numbered. Kasi, feeling ko lahat ng numbered is first edition lang. But I'm wrong. This, this actually is numbered. It's, is it 2,102 or 202? I'm not so sure. I think it's 2,102 of 5,200. This is S15, so 2015. Really, I'm, I'm surprised na numbered siya. I'm really thinking that second edition is um, not a numbered one. But, tada, it's a numbered one. So, yan. Ayan na tayo sa statue. Hanggang ngayon, surprise pa rin ako dun. I don't... 
I don't know. I'm, I'm really shocked about this. Na number siya. Because, uh, few of my friends are telling na hindi na siya numbered. So, is there a third edition of this? Or is there... I don't know. I'm not sure. Not really sure. But I'm so sure this is authentic. Baka hindi authentic yung sa kanila. <laughs> but I don't think they will buy something that is not authentic as well. So, yun. And they're also telling that they're... My one is correct. <laughs> Weird. Well, I don't know, guys. Kasi sabi nila, yung sa kanila, ito, itong bata lang na to, si Rancy, yan, yung sa kanila, it is, um, is, uh, it is placed upside down. Yung, itong head, yung nasa ulo. And then, the, basta baliktad nito. Yan. Nakikita nyo. Mano ko ba ipapakita? Ah, diba ganyan yan? Yung sa kanila, baliktad. Itong head, yun yung nakadikit. So, if that would be the case, um, it would be like, uh, there's no use of it. Kasi, ito, ginagawa niyang grappling hook niyan to. Eh, kung baliktad, how, it's not really a grappling hook kasi hindi siya makakagrab. On my statue, as you can see, Tama yung pagkakalagay. So, yeah. <laughs> Galing. Yung akin, tama. Yung sa inyo, mali. I don't know what happened. And, I don't even know why it has a number. Siguro may third edition or, is there? Or, may ibang set na second edition at merong set na walang, walang number? Well, maybe I'm just a lucky person. I have the statue numbered and the grappling hook is uh, put correctly attached correctly well, never mind let's just go ahead with this one so, ito yung sinasabi ko guys na na ni Mike, Mag, Mike Mignola yung, yung pang drawings niya puros pa ganyan yung, I mean, yung parang nakadrop siya this is his um, signature. Signature sa mga, sa mga kanya. Sa mga drawings niya. And those uh, tiny lines na makikita nyo. Yan. Saan ba yung camera ng cellphone na tato? Yan. Yung mga lines na yan. Mike Mignola yung mga yan. According to my friend who also bought this one and who happened na naka nakakita ng first edition nito. Kasi, honestly, hindi, hindi ko alam, hindi ako nakakita ng first edition. I didn't even search the web for this. Yeah. I don't know why. I should have searched it para kahit pa paano may input naman ako sabihin sa inyo, ba Pero, ayun nga, binigyan naman niya ako ng input. Sa first edition daw, mas malaki daw yung bat nito at hindi ito, hindi ganito yung bat symbol sa chest niya. But I don't know. Uh, I find that symbol okay sa statue na to. It's cool. It's 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 nice. It's very unique in the sense na para talaga siyang um, statue na drawing. Parang nag-pop out lang. Parang, ano ba yun? Two dimension, three dimension, four dimension. O yun nga. Para siyang 2D, 3D, 4D, whatever dimension it is. Para siyang ganon. Para siyang drinowing tapos bigla na lang nag-pop out sa paper. And I love it. I actually like it. I like also the design at the back. Na super straight then mag mag-flare siya na pa ganon. Find it cool. Um, oh my god! Ayun lang! Ayan, sabi ko, parang may nahulog ako. Shucks. This is what I really hate about kind of statue, yung old cast porcelain. I don't know. Maybe I am just really hard on handling things or what. But, you see? Ay, na, na kon ko, nagkaroon ng chip dyan. But anyway, it's a very nice statue. Um... You can say it's a weird pose, but 
it does really show uh, the way Mike Mignola draw his Batman in comic books. It's really nice. So we'll just let him stand on this base. There you go. Amazing, right? I love it. I really love this one. And uh, I, I do hope na nakakuha din ako ng first uh, edition. But yeah, it's kind of too late for me to hope for that. And the first edition is really, really pricey, sabi nga nila. Again, that's for Mike Magnola. And we're moving kay Darwin Cook. Darwin Cook is a Canadian artist. That one is USA, and now we're moving on papunta Canadian artist. The price is 129 If you remember, it's 117 mm, Okay. Pagawa ko buksan. Same. Papaikot ko lang. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay. Nakala ko, nahulog ko na. Buti na lang, mga sili ka na lang na nagsihulogan. Here you go. Oh! Okay. Di ba sabi ko, same? Uh, second edition. But this one, guys, is in fact, wala talaga. This one is also second edition. But this one, wala siya, hindi siya numbered. And yung peg stand niya is circular. Unlike those first five na nabuksan ko, all of their pegs are all square type. Ito, circular na. Circular type na siya. And, well, anyway, let's open the shop and see kung kamusta naman yung kay Mike, ay, Mike, kay Darwin Cook. Okay. It's very nice. It's like Batman is uh, looking up. It's a different take from Mike Mignola. Uh, this one is, uh, as you can see, parang yung kandi niya, yung suit niya, para siya naka a boxer type one. And the uh, it's like a classical take of Batman. Yung mga unang-unang Batman yung style niya. I like it. It's a cleaner look. Uh, cleaner take. Um, I don't know. I'm bothered with this. But I'm, I'm not sure if you are. But I am bothered with, with this. The chin is like... So, uh, parang... Parang napaka-square. But anyway... Well, it's just me. Akan lang naman yun. Everybody has their own likes and dislikes. And for me, ayun nga. Hindi ko masyadong gusto yun. Yet again, it's a very nice statue. Uh, that's my only complaint. But for me, it it feels more fragile. I don't know why. Like, if I, pag nanggigil ako, prinas ko to, it's like, makrakrak na siya. So, ayun. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, nakahawak lang ako sa paa. Mamaya yung paa naman maputol. Eh, no? But that's it. And this is the Darwin Cocon. No number. Second edition. And, yeah. I'll just try to let him stand on the base. And there you go, guys. It's now on the base. It's a very, very nice piece as well. So, ito na yung dalawang nabuksan natin. Ito kay Mike Mignola and this one is kay Darwin Cook. So, kanya-kanya silang style but both of them are incredibly nice statues and thanks to Jonathan Matthews for sculpting a very, very, really very nice statue. So, kung kayo ako, ano mas gusto niya? I don't know but 
a lot of people are really into this one. Maybe it's really um, a different take din kasi. But I also like this one. So, well, anyway, lahat naman eh. Gusto ko, basta Batman, di ba? So, am I biased in saying that they're both nice? I don't know. Kaya na mag-decide kung ano nga ba talaga ang mas maganda. Kung kay Mike Magnola ba o kay Darwin Cook. Maniwala kayo. Kung Batman collector kayo, pareho silang maganda. And you want them both sa collection nyo. Ayan, guys. That is where I end this video. And thank you po sobra sa nanonood ng video ko. At kung hindi ka pa isa sa aming subscriber, please do subscribe, like, comment, and share sa aming mga video. And see you again sa next na unboxing natin, guys. Until next time, this is Nitro. Bye-bye.